Here we go, going into game one, Avalon versus Gungley. All right, HP Avalon here after a little bit of a break, competing at some Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. But uh, he's back, and he's back in full force. He definitely showed better that. Better than I, I got the first-hand experience of that one on screen, boys. If you weren't here for it, don't look at it. Ooh, that sound he makes when he actually gets on the ledge. Ooh! Ooh it's a very shields weird the whole tornado. Now, you can only do that with a full shield unless you start angling your shields. If you don't have a full shield, you're not going to be able to eat the whole tornado. For sure. I don't know. I feel, I feel like I've shielded it before, but I might have been angling. Uh, well, you can you can get one, but if you don't have a full shield, you can't get the second. Towards the end of it, it'll, uh, it'll shield poke you. At least it does with Ness. It could be different with other characters. Who knows? Well, tries to bail the air dodge there. Gunblade trying to find a way in here. Avalon putting a strong showing together. Showing Gunblade exactly why he got the second seed. Nice down throw and gets and the up air for the kill. All right. Now we got to see uh, how Gunblade's going to respond to this. Sometimes you just got to take the loss on the game one and look for their habits so you can pick it up strong on game two. But it's not over yet. He could make some combos. I've seen Meta Knight do some crazy things in this game. It ain't Brawl, but no, he's not, not dead. If you haven't seen Edo play, go look him up. Oh, yeah, he's crazy. But not now. Stay on the that screen. That man is absolutely crazy. Yeah. Look him Test up the, after the stream. Yeah, yeah after, after we're done. Ooh, nice recovery. Oh, wow. Missing Charging that. the forward smash. Kind of going for broke there, but didn't get punished too hard. It's so hard a time to get up on the ledge. Oh wow, bouncing fish. That move is that move can go literally nowhere or across the stage. Yep, it's all whatever the sheep wants to do. Wow, upbeat, not killing off the top even with rage. It's looking pretty grim for Gunblade. Hopefully he can take a stock, get his confidence up a little bit. Start thinking about what he's gonna do in game two. Maybe some counter picks. Good fair by uh, Avalon coming back toward the stage. Sheik's recovery is so good. In this it's game. really good. Ooh, trying to get the dash attack. Ooh, nice Avalon job. Misses yeah. the tech. Yeah, get in the back air. Very, very nice job. Gunblade saying, "I'm not worried about game two. I'm gonna win this game one real quick." A little bit of rage. I don't know. Oh, but that up smash might do it. No, good di. Up into it the corner of the screen. It is Sheik. So she only has a couple kill options, and at this percentage, she's not going to be able to set up into him very reliably. As long as he can avoid being grabbed, maybe start an up air string. Uh oh, down upbeat. throw. No, not going to get the up air. Oh my god, that second one almost hit. Wow, not landing on the stage. That's very weird. That's going to be That's it. That's going to be it. Like CBHBA Avalon takes game one. Sends Gunblade back to the drawing board. I'm thinking we're going to see a character switch here, to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Gunblade. Kind of known for, like, when he when he loses with one character, he just switches off of it. But I don't know. Maybe he'll stick with Meta Knight this time. Oh, he is. Okay. He is. All right. Maybe he figured out the matchup. Maybe. Maybe he knows it a little better. Going right back to Smashville as well. Wow, oh my gosh. Just gets two grabs right there. Ooh, barely misses that bouncing fish. It looks like whatever Gunblade thought was going to work, he hasn't quite implemented it just yet. Avalon's got a commanding lead. And this is Sheik, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sheik. Oh my gosh, he's falling out of the jabs there. Ooh, almost goes under the stage with that. Just gotta be careful on that one. Trading the dash with the, the jab. Ooh, whips the up smash. Doesn't get punished too hard. That, uh, that LB is so ridiculous. How 
It looks weird, right? You get so... It's like, it's super safe. It's like ultra safe. Because one, it has invincibility. Two, it snaps the ledge like all, all the things do in this game. Then it has an explosion at the beginning. And now the ending, which didn't have a hitbox before, now has a hitbox. And Gunblade dying at 143 to the down throw up air. Why is he getting hit by those? I'm, I'm pretty sure those aren't guaranteed, but... He's somehow getting hit by them. Maybe because he's Bed Knight, he's a fast faller. I don't know yet. Could be. Ooh, nice, nice forward F smash. smash. Yeah. If he can get this stock here. Ooh. Nice up B. Taking some more needle damage. Gotta watch out with that again. And Sheik. So rack up damage with the needles. Not much you can do again against it. Especially the ones where you can't really shield them. Yeah, definitely. Penetrating needles. It's hard. Ooh. Wow. Up smash pokes through the platform. Gunblade can't believe it. Shakes through his hand. That's going to be it. And we have HBA Avalon moving on in the winner's bracket. Gunblade got to fight for his tournament life in the loser's Down bracket. Down in the loser's bracket.